This body style has been out less than a year and I'm still in love with it. And this 2020 is no exception. So one of my top two colors, the machine gray, and look how sleek this vehicle is. I love it. Hey, it's Jonathan Sewell Sells at Mitchell Mazda on the Boulevard and Enterprise, and I'm standing with the 2020 Mazda 3 sedan with preferred package, and I'm gonna talk about some of the changes and upgrades in 2020. But before I jump into that, go ahead and hit the JSS down here at the bottom and subscribe to my channel and ding that bell so that you get updated first on all the information on Mazda. Let's get into it. All right, there's really not much differences on this 2020 sedan because 2019 was a complete redesign. However, there's a few things that I'm very excited about. Standard across all sedans for 2020, you get all the iActive Sense features. So every one of them is gonna have the Mazda radar cruise control with stop and go. Also the camera up top there, it's gonna have a lane departure alert, lane keep assist. Also uh, with the, the radar down here, you'll also have the uh, smart uh, brake support as well as all other active safety features to mitigate any type of collisions. And the camera up top, of course, incorporates high beam assist. And uh, this preferred package is uh, aptly named because it's got all the good stuff. So as we work around, I love the, the honeycomb style grill, uh, which is that piano black finish. And then of course you have the, the chrome accent starting here under the headlights all the way around for that Mazda wing that ties in well with the logo. And uh, a couple things that you'll notice is that uh, these are LED projector beam headlights. And you also have a little LED strip right there on the side mirror. And we'll go around here and cover a few more features. You've got the 18 inch wheels, which is upgraded on the uh, select, the model down from this. And then you see a brighter finish now for 2020 on these wheels on the premium package. Um, so jumping around, you also have, uh, when this is in reverse, you'll have the, the mirrors will tilt down. And then the new design, the triangle of, which we saw in 2019, of the blind spot monitors and rear cross traffic. Of course, you'll see right here, this is already unlocked, but you've got this button to push and lock, but then upgraded again in 2019, just stick your hand here and pull, and it will uh, unlock the vehicle. So taking a quick look inside on this preferred package, you have the Bose system, and I love this uh, metallic speaker covers. This has your uh, soft touch leather, um, but still very dressed up with this um, stitching here, contrast stitching, ties in on the dash all the way around, very soft touch materials here and on the uh, door panels. And um, one change that they've made across the board is they've removed the cover of the uh, cup holders, which really just kind of got in the way. So I love how they reposition them from here to here in this new body style. But uh, having to touch and open up that cover, um, especially if it was an oversized cup, just kind of got in the way. So they made a change on that. Also have your big display here, which I'll turn on in just a minute so you can see that. And then your center display is uh, just as big. So this machine gray color, which is one of my favorites, of course, the uh, Kodo design, designed to have the soul of motion, so you can see how the light hits off of it. I really love that. But it's very streamlined with no key uh, hole here. It's actually on the inside there, so everything's very uh, elegant and uh, very smooth looking. Of course, you have um, very good room for a compact uh, car. Of course, the front row there sits up a little bit so you can slide your feet underneath. And then as you come down on the inside, you've got your cup holders right here. And uh, all of this uh, material is very soft, this uh, uh, Softex leather-like material. Uh, of course, uh, the new key design that we saw in 2019 
is still here, very streamlined. So just push and hold on this side here to pop the trunk and uh, tied in the logo on the front uh, in the back here. A lot of room. Of course, you can just let these seats down right here. And I'll do that and show you, pop that seat. But everything's finished out very nice. And so you won't have any wires or anything hanging down here. Have a lot of felt material. So it will reduce the amount of sound coming from this area into the cabin. As I talked about here, just that little latch. So you've got a 60-40 split right here. So a lot of, um, a lot of versatility in cargo and passengers. And the passenger side here is, uh, has just as much comfort. So it doesn't have a power seat on this preferred package, but you can still position your seat. And um, the way that they design these seats are very ergonomic for uh, lumbar especially. And uh, we'll jump back inside and show you a few of the other options. All right, so I wanted to crank it up real quick just to show you this uh, LED display here. And you have a couple different options as viewing your miles per gallon and um, the uh, temperature and things like that on the sides there of your center stack, uh, center dial, which is uh, LED. So it's very nice. Of course, this is offered in several markets. So you could um, have miles per hour or kilometers per hour and toggle real quick. Um, one thing that I want to also point out is the little um, vehicle with the ring on it and there's your button right here this is just real quick and easy with those um, uh, assist features or active safety features and assist such as the uh, lane departure uh, warning the lane keep assist the uh, automatic emergency braking and all that stuff you can just push this button real quick uh, turn that as you can see turn that on let me get the re reflection out of it off and then on and it toggles and it actually lights up green when you're moving to say that everything's what you have set up here in the settings uh, that you can jump through. So uh, everything's pretty, uh, pretty neat to just have that one button to get everything live and ready to go. Uh, no changes on the steering wheel here. Uh, so everything's set up. Of course, uh, all vehicles now will have the, uh, the adjustment here for the radar cruise control and um, couple of neat things to show you real quick just in this uh, setup here of course this is non-touch but it is a bigger screen push back can't hardly touch it anyway so you've got the streamlined commander control here and um, a lot of settings that you can dive into and I'll cover this later in another video but you can jump and control a lot of things right up in there and uh, this is with the preferred package you do have a memory seating with this power seat and uh, one thing that's neat with the uh, heated seats and the automatic climate control, you can actually link those to, uh, if it's cold outside, it'll go ahead and turn on the heated seats. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Of course, you have one USB up here, which Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is included with the preferred package, and then one inside here. So you can use either one of those, as I've shown in other videos, for Apple CarPlay. So this is the preferred package 2020. Not much changes on this model. But uh, adding IAC Descent Standard even on the entry level sedan is real big. I'm very proud of Mazda for doing that. And then um, a few slight other changes, but the biggest one's coming just across the whole board. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please call me at 334 718 0504. You can text as well or comment below of what you like best about this preferred package 2020 Mazda 3. I'm Jonathan Sewell Sells at Mitchell Mazda. Thanks for checking this out with me, and I can't wait to see you in a Mazda.